this Thanksgiving, like every year since 1981, Butterball is guiding holiday cooks with everything from thawing tips to emergency advice through the Turkey Talk line. This is an annual tradition of ours to check in with the turkey experts in Naperville, Illinois. And joining us right now live from the Butterball Talk line is Bill Nolan. Bill, happy Thanksgiving. It is good to see you again, sir. Happy Thanksgiving, Becky. It's good to be with you as well. We're happy. We're excited. Our workers are coming in this morning, getting ready to take those calls and answer those questions. We, we just finished a segment where we were talking about how so much of the world is moving to streaming. The Internet plays a big role. But you guys, I think, are getting as many calls as ever through the Turkey Talk line. How, how is the Turkey Talk line kind of Internet proof? Why, why do people still call you? I think the secret is, is people want to talk to a real human being. You know, um, we've adapted over time with technology. We know we, st we take uh, questions through text, through uh, email, through live chat. But really, the phones are the, still the, the backbone of the talk line. People want to call 1-800-BUTTERBALL. They want to talk to a real human being. We're here throughout the week. Uh, we were here last night till 9 o'clock. We'll be here tonight till 9 o'clock. We'll be here all day tomorrow. So we're the lifeline for people, whether they just want some advice and they've maybe done it a million times, but they want to make sure they're doing it right. Or that first time cook that says, I've never done this before. How can you do it? We will walk them through the entire process and make it as painless as possible. Maybe we should talk about some of those stories because I, that's probably the best stuff out of what you guys are doing is the real human experience and stories that you're getting on some of these things. I, I would guess you get calls from first timers. What, what are some of the craziest questions you all have been asked? Well, a lot of people, you know, turkey is a funny thing because people only have it once or twice a year, you know. Yeah, it's intimidating. And it's, a, it's intimidating. That's, the, that's yeah. the perfect word. I mean, you take a look at it. It's, it's a large piece of meat to cook. And people are saying, how am I going to do this? How am I going to thaw it out? Our number one question on the talk line is, how do I thaw my turkey? And the good news being that it, we're this close into the holiday right now is there is a quick way to do it, which is a cold water method, that you leave the turkey in the wrapper, put it in the sink, fill it up with cold water, and change that water every 30 minutes. And you can thaw that turkey out in a matter of hours instead of a matter of days in the refrigerator. So this is great for the people that forgot to buy a turkey, forgot to take it out of the freezer. And exciting this year is another option we have, which is our cook from frozen turkey, which is rolled out in select markets. People can go to the butterball.com website and take a look at the uh, top of the website where, where to buy and click down to see if it's available in your area. But you take it out of the bag, take it out of the inner wrapper, pop it into a 350-degree oven, and in about four hours, you've got a perfectly cooked turkey, which is, takes a lot of that headache of thawing it out off the table for you. I, I've read some of the stories where you all talk about some of the uh, funny questions that get asked of people. When somebody said, called, a guy called in and said, um, my turkey's frozen, what do I do? He was asked, what, what, what state is the turkey in? And he answered, Florida. I've, I've seen the questions <laughs> about people wanting to know if they could yeah. uh, thaw the turkey with an electric blanket, all, uh, if they should be washing it with dish soap in the sink. Um, oh, yeah. I, but I think the best story that I've ever heard is, is, is one that you told uh, along the line when we're, one, one time, Bill, where you got a call from a newly widowed man who was trying to put a, his Thanksgiving turkey together. Um, what, what, what happened with that call? Yeah, that was, that was my first year um, on the talk line. And I got this call from the gentleman. It was on a Wednesday night and uh, the night before Thanksgiving. As you said, he was newly widowed and um, he, he wanted to make the turkey he'd never cooked before. And uh, his wife passed away in the year, previous year, and he wanted to make that turkey, and he had no idea what to do. So I walked him through the entire process, and, uh, you know, I told him, write this all down. Um, but most important, call us back tomorrow if you need help. But um, he felt pretty confident by the end. You know, we can literally take people from start to finish. And when you can do something like that for somebody, um, it makes you feel like you're making a difference. And, uh, you know, it's not rocket science what we do, but if you're helping people to put on a great meal, that's what Butterball is all about. It's like sharing the love, passing on the love to people and making things uh, real. You know, uh, the holidays are for being together. It's been a tough year and we want to make uh, people happy and have a good meal on their table. And we are grateful for it. It's the true spirit of Thanksgiving, uh, being thankful and, and giving back. And what you and your team is doing is, is really something. We should point out you're doing this again all day tomorrow on Thanksgiving. Um, Bill Nolan, yeah. thank you to you and your team. And happy Thanksgiving.